one thing I want to make sure that I do is that I want to make sure that I give a shout out to my dad. My dad definitely was one of the main reasons why I ever got into fragrances in the first place. I remember like as a kid, uh, we'll be driving in the BM, in his BMW and um, he would have a few different colognes that he would have in his rotation. One of them being Isimiyaki, another one being Versace the Dreamer. And I remember as I got older, um, like I always kind of, it was certain things that I picked up from my dad. Like if you saw my road video, you know that I ended up picking that up from my dad because my dad ended up always having a few different robes. He had like four or five different robes when we were growing up in a couple of different pairs of house shoes. Now, as far as me, now that I got like six different robes, all the different colors and about four or five different, six different pairs of house shoes. So it just kind of lets you know like how impactful a father, a father figure is to the son and also uncles and everything as well. So, yo, y'all men, y'all make a big difference to a lot of these kids' lives. And I want to show you just a few fragrances that I remember my dad having that I got in my collection now um, to, you know, make sure that I end up at least going back to that memory sometimes and, uh, yeah, reminiscing a little bit. So, these are my top three OG fragrances that your dad probably had in his car. Real talk. kind of gave a hint off of what one of them was going to be so i already will let you know that this is one of the smoothest yet uh invigorating fragrances that you can actually get still to this day this mug is an og like very much og fragrance but this mug has stood the test of time it has stood the test of time so i wanted to make sure that i ended up giving this just dues and that is versace the dreamer Now what comes with this? You got some white floral aromatics, some iris, powdery, fresh, spicy type of, you know, combination. Overall, this mug is definitely a nice, nice smooth fragrance. Um, I love the bottle. The bottle is definitely like very smooth, but you know, uh, you got some juniper there, uh, juniper, <laughs> you got some juniper, and um, tarragon and some um, artemisia and stuff like that, some iris. Lily and some some flax, ooh, tobacco and um, tobacco blossom and some amber. That's actually very smooth, and it reminds me as a kid. Like I remember, I would uh, my dad would have this under his under his seat, and um, I would grab it and. I would just be like, man, this mug, like, what type of cologne, like, what type of bottle is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, bro, look at the bottle. Like, look at the bottle. It looks different. Like, just imagine if you're a kid and you see this bottle. You know what I'm saying? So you automatically just know, like, this is low key going to have you on some mischief stuff. But this mug, man, I, I just remember this mug. Like, it was definitely kind of cool. Um, came out like when I was like well I wasn't so much a kid it was like I was still in my early 20s but you know you just kind of remember certain stuff um, I want to say probably like what I was like 21 something like that so like 12 years ago but this mug was definitely definitely a good smooth and yeah you can consider it a kid but this mug was always smooth I remember when I smelled this the first time and just was like oh man this man this mug smells real, real good. Even right now, like if you end up, if you wear this right now, I'm telling you, you would get a lot of compliments. This mug has stood the test of time when it comes to compliments. Um, if you, let's say, what would I say that you could rock this at? This is versatile, so you can pretty much rock it anywhere that you 
like I was saying, the spring and summertime, you can walk it, rock it outside, you can rock it in inside. Um, would I say that this would be an office scent? It's light enough almost, like it's almost light enough to be an office scent. Like it's not offensive, but I think that it might still be I think that um, I think it might still be a little. I don't know. I can't say that it's too spicy, but I don't know. It just seems like it might be a little too floral for the office, and sometimes people have like a high amount of um, like allergies when it comes to like floral stuff. So that's why I would say like yeah, this probably wouldn't be the most office friendly fragrance. But everywhere else, this mug would smell really good. This smells like you just hopped out of a Jaguar. Yeah, yeah, I would say like this smells like you real life just got out of a Jaguar, got on a nice leather leather uh, jacket and stuff, smooth. Probably got on a nice, you know, and I'm talking about like a nice brown leather jacket, nothing that's like heavy or nothing, a real nice light one, one that you'll end up getting from like Ralph Lauren or. Uh, Cole Hunt or anything like that. Those real nice, real leather ones. Um, it is, man, I'm telling you, like this mug is very smooth. Yeah, I can see this being rocked in so many different ways. I wonder how it performs in the winter time. Or not, not in the winter time, but in the fall. It seems like this will actually be pretty good as far as a fall or like a date fragrance. Yeah, this could be a good date fragrance. Yeah, I can see this being a good day fragrance. So, yeah, man, this is Versace, the Dreamer, and yep, my dad, my dad used to have this up in the car all the time. So, all right, so that one was, you know, a very much smooth classic fragrance. I think that I definitely stand the test of time over the next like ten years or so. I think it'll be another popular fragrance that'll still be in a lot of people's collection. But this next one is definitely something that I know that your father would or uncle or grandfather had in their collection in the 90s. I do not care, um, or at least something from this line. Now this one, this specific fragrance, launched about a year before I graduated. So <clears throat> that was, um, this, grad this was in 2007 when it's launched. So I remember my dad used to have this up in his truck when I ever used to like, you know, um, like let's say if he needed the truck, cause sometimes I would end up driving to work or I mean driving to school and then I had to go to work or sometimes, you know, it would always be some type of different things before I ended up having my own vehicle. And um, yeah, my dad ended up, you know, always having some type of nice fragrance in the car. And I remember him having this one specifically. So. Uh, this and also the original as well. The original is just always going to be a classic. But this is Issey Miyake Pour On Intense. Now, what is actually in this fragrance? This one got that Yuzu, which is so different. This is. This company, I mean, Isimiyaki was one of the main ones that actually did the no user, which is very, very different. Um, then you got bergamot, sweet orange, some mandarin, you got nutmeg, lotus, cinnamon, some cardamom, some saffron, which you can definitely smell, incense, uh, papyrus, um, or papyrus, uh, some ambergris, and a few other notes like some amber and benzoin but this mug is definitely um, a very woody this is very woody so this this is more of like a good fall um, actually you can pretty much rock it at any given point in time it's like it, it has some versatility to it but it's just like it's still too spicy it's still very it's still very very like intense in a way so it's long, it lasts long. You gonna get the bang for your buck. You definitely gonna get the bang for your buck. But, and then it's not too expensive. Usually this costs you 
between like you, you should be able to find it between like 28 to 40 dollars between that so it shouldn't be too overzealous for you to find for a good price but this mug has some good longevity the projection is always there and because it is spicy because it is woody and stuff like that it actually gives a different type of um, a different type of sillage when you when you wear it so when you wear it it actually gets a lot of compliments a lot of people like that you know, like they love that combination it's just it's just a very smooth type of fragrance man like I ain't gonna lie to you like this one just it was like one day I wore it and I could smell this month for like two days on my shirt. That's how I'm up. it's like, and it's weird because it's like you get, you get so many different, like you get the, this is very much like I, you will clean. Like, let's say if you getting, you got out of a, uh, let's say if you just got out of the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? And you've got that good smell good on. You smell something like that. This this kind of smells like you coming out of a barbershop. And because it smells like you coming out of a barbershop, I don't know if you ever like got the reactions of coming out of a barbershop, but ladies love when you smell like you coming out of a barbershop. And it's just, it's just, it's slightly mysterious in a way. So you win off of that. You don't smell like everybody else because that yuzu, that mug, that if one is potent and it's it's quite strong, but it still has that floral aspect to it. So it's like the opening is a bit much sometimes. Um, it can be a bit spicy. It can be a bit like, ah, like, you know what I'm saying? But when it dries down, when it dries down, masterpiece. This mug is definitely fly. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to LT. Shout out to old school. That's what I call him all the time, old school. Um, shout out to him for always making sure that he has some type of gift, smelling cologne. I, I be getting him some colognes now and stuff, but it's kind of like, I know, it's not, it's not, it's not like Aqua de Gio Parfum. Like it's more spicier than that but it does have like a similarity to it. So if you like Aqua de Gio Parfum, this would just be a little bit more spicy with the user. Outside of that, it, it, you can like the dry down, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of similar, but just giving a heads up of what this is. So it's Inyaki, another great fragrance that they have came up with to go into their fragrance houses. So home intense <sighs> this one right here man been around for almost 20 years and this one actually no this one no it's been around yeah it's been almost 20 years since this first came up it is an award-winning fragrance this mug is it's the lemon bergamot Star anise, olive blossom, it's the leather, the tonka bean, the tobacco. What fragrance am I talking about, people? I want you to think. I just kind of gave you a hint with the last fragrance, but it's not that specific one. But it is from the house. This is our money code. And the hint that I was giving you earlier was about the Aqua de Gio Parfum. So that was me trying to at least throw you through a little. But this is Armani Code Giorgio Armani. A great, 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 great fragrance. This one. First of all, putting citrus and leather together. Citrus and leather together. You remember I said off of the other one that you can wear that with a leather coat? Scratch that. Wear this with the leather coat. 
my computer agreed with me. <laughs> That's crazy that this smells this good. It smells this good. So you got the olive blossom, you got the leather and everything like that, and it just creates this beautiful bouquet. And if you remember anything, like I said, most times your father ended up rocking those type of fragrances. This was definitely one that I remember seeing roll underneath the car when he was driving and stuff like that back when I was like 14. I remember this vividly. So this one was definitely a top one that I used to love to see. Cause I was like, man, at first I thought it was something to drink. Cause I thought the bottle just looked cool. Then I ended up taking the top off and I'm like, man, is this something to drink? So I take the top off and then I find out like, no, this ain't nothing to drink. What is this? So I spray it and it just smelled real good. And from that point on, I was like, oh, so this what it is. Man. Ever since then, I've been hooked to it. So it's elegant. Enigma. Chic. This is for gentlemen of all age groups, all ages. This screams nighttime. I can see you rocking this downtown Chicago. I can see you rocking this downtown Houston. Downtown Dallas. Yes. Yes. Downtown Detroit. Downtown Indianapolis. Downtown Nashville. Yes. So, yeah, man, these are some of the best fragrances that my dad was able to put me on. So, you know, it's your host with the most fine and Nemo, aka, you know, I need more ammo. Or your favorite cousin, your bald headed brother, and cool rich back in this mug. And I appreciate you for tapping in and tuning in to another fire fragrance review. Um, especially this one being inspired by my old man, my dad. Shout out to LT. And also, I want to make sure that we end up doing some housekeeping more just before we end up closing out. So we got need the HBO special. What's the HBO special? I need the help a brother out special. So like, share, and subscribe to the content. Make sure that you end up expanding the community. We need more people a part of the Cool Rich community, right? So I need y'all to go ahead and do everything that's possible to let, let your family know, let your people know, let your cousins know. I'm telling you, this information is going to help you out so much because at the end of the day, you could be that big cousin that's showing the big cousin or showing your little cousins or showing the other family members this content. And then they appreciate you because now they know where they can go to get some smooth information, something that they can relate to, and maybe something that can even jog a memory back forth. Like, you know, like, dang, I do remember my dad rocking that and all that stuff like that, right? So shout out to y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy the rest of y'all days and have a productive day, have a productive week. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and love.